The effects of hyperinsulinism on a goldfish will be examined. The bowl marked A contains 400 international units of commercially prepared insulin in 100 milliliters of water. Bowl B contains 100 milliliters of a 10% glucose solution. A small goldfish is placed in bowl A containing insulin for observation of changes in behavior over time. Insulin is taken up rapidly across the gills to create a state of hyperinsulinism. Within five minutes, the body of the fish begins to twitch and movements become increasingly convulsive. Rapid darting swimming movements are observed for a few minutes. Eventually, a slower, regular, circular swimming pattern resumes, but the fish is unable to maintain an upright position. For several minutes, the fish frequently turns over on its side while swimming, but continues to attempt to upright itself. Within 20 minutes, the fish remains on its side, stops swimming, and finally enters a comatose state. The change in swimming pattern and the final comatose state are the result of brain deprivation of glucose produced by hyperinsulinism. The comatose fish is then carefully transferred to bowl B containing the 10% glucose solution and again observed for changes. Within a few minutes, the fish begins to revive. And within 15 minutes, it resumes its normal swimming activity. Placing the fish in a 10% glucose solution restored circulating glucose to a level necessary for normal brain activity. The results of this experiment should clearly illustrate why human diabetics who rely on insulin therapy must carefully regulate the amount of insulin taken and be attentive to early signs of hypoglycemia.